Hi there, my name is Ian Whittingham. I'm the owner of Calixo Consulting, a project and program management consultancy. And today I've been presenting at New Trends in Project Management here in Gdansk. The topic for today was design thinking uh, in innovation projects and how that process can be used to improve innovation outcomes. It was based on some research done by um, an academic, uh, Dr. Jean Lika, in 2014, but it also draws on um, much of the practice of design thinking by um, IDEO, the American design consultancy company. Uh, in particular, the focus for today was on how design thinking as a process is ideally suited to actually combating uh, what undermines most innovation projects, which is behavior, and in particular, the influence of cognitive bias in terms of inhibiting the emergence of in innovative ideas. Um, it's a, an area where um, most projects uh, suffer from the adverse effects of cognitive bias. So these are techniques that, although I was talking about it in an innovation context, it can actually be used on uh, most other uh, projects as well. By and large, behavior drives decisions, decisions drive projects. So understanding how these cognitive biases affect the outcomes of the processes um, is a way in which the um, participants were able to see and apply those practices uh, to their own projects. Um, most of the feedback I had was uh, very encouraging. Uh, some people hadn't heard of design thinking, so it was an entirely new concept to them. And I used the occasion to mark the centenary of the Bauhaus movement, uh, which was formed 100 years ago this month in April 1919 by uh, Walter Gropius. So it was an ideal opportunity to introduce the historical context and background to design thinking, although we think it's something modern and up-to-date. In fact, uh, the roots of design thinking date back, as I say, um, almost 100 years. Uh, so it's been a really good uh, session here. I've also joined many of the other um, sessions, heard some really great speakers, and I hope to come back either as a participant or just as a, uh, as a, as a member of the audience uh, and soak up all the uh, good learning that you can have here. So thank you for inviting me and I hope to come back very soon.